Good morning, I'm Terry Conrad, and thank you for joining me here today in this uh, post-election look at anxiety through creative expression and trying to understand a little bit more about anxiety and where it's taking place in our body and how to release it. Um, what is anxiety? It's that felt sense of worry, of nervousness or unease. It's typically about an imminent situation, something that we know is going to happen. We just don't know what, and so the outcome is uncertain. And this election, um, hmm, it, it is definitely filled with uncertainty as far as what everything will look like once certain things are put into place and, and um, policies take effect. We just don't know. And we don't know how it's going to impact us on a day-to-day -day basis. So today, I want to begin by being intentional, by sitting down at the table with our art supplies and really holding anxiety, coming alongside it as though it's a messenger, a friendly messenger inside our body and to be present with it, to explore it and to let it flow from our body through the brush onto the paper. I think what I'd like to do is begin by showing you what my setup looks like. And then I think we'll begin with a breathing exercise just to try and ground ourselves a little bit before we pick up the brush. So that will be in the next session, thanks. Here's my setup. I've got two cups of water. One I tend to use for my warm colors, and then the second I use for my cool colors. That way things don't get muddy on the paper. I've got an art journal. This is a mixed media art journal where I do some of my collage and other things. It's just a very inexpensive um Acro, I guess is the brand. I mean, like I said yesterday in the introduction, you really can use anything. If you have watercolor paper, that's great. I've got some watercolors here and I just stuck my fingers in wet paint. Um, I did spray down my colors uh, to activate them and get them wet. And I've got some select brushes, my Micron pen, a pencil, and some words. Um, that I may or may not use uh, in terms of my, my uh, painting exercise. So what I want to do next, that's the setup. You do what works for you. And I think what we'll do next is a breathing exercise to um, bring presence to the table. Personally, I've used breathing practices and deep breathing as a source of calm for my own anxiety, gosh, for as long as I can remember. Um, when my girls were little, I used to tell them, you know, if we ever get disconnected from each other, like if we were at a crowded event, Disneyland or a festival or something, I would always tell them, the first thing I want you to do is breathe and say, I'm okay. And then I would tell them, of course, to go find someone safe and explain to them who might be safe to help them reconnect with mom. Um, and so that's something I want to encourage you to do. Always know that you can stop and breathe. And when we breathe, it brings us back to the present moment. And it's in this present moment where we live. It's not the past. It's not the future. It's right here, right now. And it's okay to acknowledge that we're feeling anxious, 
to simply say, I feel anxious. I feel it in my body. And we know it's not going to take up residence with us, but the sooner that we're able to sit with it and to feel it and to explore it and move through it, it will move through us and we'll feel a greater sense of peace and calm. So let's begin by closing our eyes, if you feel comfortable. And uh, this is something that I like to do. It would be an inhale, a deep inhale through your nose for a count of four. Hold that inhale for a count of six and then exhale through your mouth, gently blowing for a count of eight, if you're able to get up to that number. And then just repeat it two or three times. So let's go ahead and begin and do that. Inhale. I feel when I do this, I just feel the weight leaving my body, the tension actually being released from my body. And I hope you're having that experience as well. Let's try it again. Inhale for a count of four, hold for a count of six, and exhale through your mouth, gently blowing for a count of eight. Okay, here we go. There you go. Let's begin. On your left page, I want to ask you, and this, this is a, a journal prompt. This is what anxiety feels like for me. And then take a pencil and you might want to hold it kind of toward the end and loosely just start moving. What does anxiety feel like for me? And I'm taking my round brush here. I'm going to dip it in the water, take these out. And I'm going to paint with water three or four circles. It doesn't matter, you wanna have it somewhat saturated. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush. And it really doesn't matter, you can use this. You know what, I'm gonna use the same brush. And Anxiety feels red to me, so I'm going to paint inside that circle. Draw a line to the next circle. Remember, we are not painting art to create something pretty. We are connecting with our emotion through our art. So I'm going to come down to this next circle and just let the paint flow. You can roll your brush on the belly of the feral. Just 
just listen to the music. Get more water on your brush as you need. You can even splatter. Anxiety feels a little chaotic for me. I wonder what it feels like for you. And that's what those splatters represent for me. As we move on to the page on the right, I want you to remind yourself so you might say something like this, I know that this feeling will pass. And then ask yourself, what do I need right now to feel better? And I'm going to take some yellow and paint it on the page. And again, we're just letting the color flow. For me, yellow feels bright. It is my favorite color. It feels cheerful. It feels optimistic. Um, hopeful. I'm going to use a flat brush here, paint water, and I want to let my colors blend with each other. Let's see, I think I might choose a green. That's the beauty of watercolors. It just flows and it asks us to flow with it. And if you want to pick up some of the water that might be puddling on the sides, you can do that. The idea is to keep the movement occurring. Get some more green. I love how that looks. And more importantly, I love how it feels. So what is it that you need right now to make you feel better? to help you feel more calm and a deeper sense of inner peace. What I'd like to do is walk you through, <clears throat> pardon me, a uh, meditation as we close. So um, I'm just going to uh, set my camera here. And again, if you want to Close your eyes and listen. You can. Let me move things around here. There we go. Okay. This is just a, a probably about a minute's worth of a meditation. So go ahead and take a nice, deep, cleansing breath. You can put your hand on your heart, maybe your other hand on your belly. And listen and breathe. <laughs> In this dark and heavy world, I know peace. Love and light live within me. It is okay that I'm feeling anxious. I know this feeling and how it swirls through my body like an open sea. My breath 
is my anchor. I will be present with my feelings, giving them permission to be and to pass. Even though I am feeling anxious, I continue to have the ability to calm myself with deep breathing, a brisk walk, or even the stroke of a paintbrush. I have personal power. I have choice and I have the ability to calm my nervous system. Thank you for being here with me today. I hope that you feel a deeper sense of peace. Sometimes it's the simplest acts that can help us. Um, taking brush to paper, taking a brisk walk outside, connecting with a friend, playing with our dog or our cat. And these are, are simple gifts that I like to refer to them as that we need to remember and to engage in to help get us through these trying times. Um, do follow me at bloom underscore true at Instagram. The link is uh, down below here. And um, I'd love for you to subscribe to me here on YouTube. I'm just getting started with this on Bloom True. For those of you that, that don't know, uh, this is my heart work. And I, I am feeling a tremendous amount of peace almost coming home, uh, beginning this. Uh, we'll be launching a website very soon. But in the meantime, like I say, you can subscribe here on YouTube, subscribe on Instagram. And last night, I just made my first post on Substack. I haven't announced it um, at large yet, but I will. So if you're on Substack, I'd like to know so that I can follow you. And I'd love for you to follow me, Bloom True on Substack. Thanks. Hey, we're going to have more tomorrow. And I think tomorrow we might engage in a little more watercolor and even some collage. And I will, um, I will be providing the paper uh, pieces for you to collage with. I'll put a link in the, the YouTube reel. And all you have to do is click on that, download it and print it. And you'll have what I have as we're working on the collage together in tomorrow's video. Thanks, you guys. Have a good, good day. Peace be with you.